the Hawaiian Humane Society is offering a special promotion that could help the entire ohana. That's right, and with July being Microchip Madness Month, Dallas Aldevaro starts us live from the Humane Society with more details on how to protect your pets. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine and Ross. That's right. In the last half hour, we're talking about microchip madness, where you could go to a, a sort of different clinics across the island to get your pet, cat, dog, or rabbit microchipped for just ten dollars. Now, here joining us, we got Susie Tan with the Hawaiian Humane Society. Good morning. Good morning. And we also have Piper. She's been doing really well, and she is going to be our kind of our demonstrator today when it comes to microchipping. So yep. let's go ahead and talk about the microchip procedure. Where does this chip exactly go? So. The the chip is about the size of a grain of rice. It's really teeny tiny and it goes right here in between the shoulder blades and it lasts forever. So basically through the entire dog's life. So you want to get that done. It's really simple, really quick. And the procedure is pretty harmless, so it doesn't hurt your pet at all. Yeah, it's really, it's really harmless. Um, and like I said, all of the animals here at the Hawaiian Humane Society are microchips, so Piper does have one. But it's really, really fast, and you want to get that done because it's so important in finding your lost pet. So when someone brings a lost animal, you know, the, one of the first things you want to do is check the condition of the animal and yep. check if they have a microchip. So this is a gadget they use, and what, it's really easy. You just press the read button right here, and already. Piper's code pops up. So you enter this code into your system, and what can you find out about Piper when you enter this code? We'll find out some information about her if we have any, and whatever owner information is attached to her. So we'll, the owner's name will pop up, phone number, address, so we can contact them. We'll mail a letter, we'll give them calls, tell, them, tell the person that their pet is here so they can come and pick them up. So when we did the code for Piper during commercial break, what did we find out about her? So we looked her up and we found out that she was a stray dog. She was found on the North Shore of Oahu. Wahoo, and that her microchip information actually hadn't been updated. You know, it's really important to get that microchip updated because we can contact you. If we don't have your information, we can't tell you your lost pet is here. So really, call the microchip manufacturer and get that information updated. It's so important. Absolutely. And just a little side note here, Piper is available for adoption. She's super cuddly, very friendly, and she loves treats. And you know what? Since this is a perfect time to start talking about microchipping your animals, 4th of July is right around the corner and the Humane Society here really sees a peak when it comes to lost animals. So they will be only open for pickup on lost animals on July 5th. And if you want to see the different locations in where they'll be offering this microchip madness for $10, you can check our website later today at KHON2.com. Reporting for the Hawaii Humane Society, Dallas and Abraham, singing back to you, Christine and Ross with more. Thanks, Dallas. Your boys, Koge and Hank. See, Koge has a microchip, okay. but Hank the tag, we just got a puppy. He does not have a microchip, so we still have to get that. Good time to do I it. Know, perfect timing. All right, coming up next, Kelly will be back with another live look at those roads plus drive times from the Windward side.